Yeah, scriptures. exactly. I'm sitting at that desk in his room. That used to be his uh, closet. And, uh, you know, that was his room. See, that was his Dice room. en el escritorio donde Puzushi hizo las escrituras, donde trabajó. El closet que está ahí atrás es el de Puzushi. <laughs> yeah, and this... Could, could you share with us the story? Oh, how... well, you know, uh, in this was the first apartment that was built as a model apartment, you know, this apartment. Ese departamento donde está su casa fue yeah. el primer departamento que se construyó en Simandar City como un modelo. Yeah, and Neruma always wanted me to come to uh, India and she kept on telling me, we know why, we know why, I will make it so nice for you, you know. You will be just like America. And I said, you know, I kept on saying, whatever Nima wants to do, that's fine. I was not too interested, you know. I just kept on saying. Y, y Ruma siempre le insistía que vaya para la India porque él estaba viviendo en Estados Unidos. Y le decía, be not why, be not why, venite para la India que tenemos acá todo para él. Y él yeah. estaba un poco resistente a mudarse. Yeah, and so this, you know, and while this Simanda City apartments were being built, Neruma and Deepak Pai, they all used to go back and forth between Ahmedabad and here. They had no place to stay. So when this was ready, you know, it was already, you know, a model apartment. It was already, you know, to attract other Mahatmas to come. This was built, you know, so... Yeah, uh, so I told Niruma, listen, I don't know when I'll be there, but you know, why don't you until your place is ready, why don't you stay here? So she replied by email. She, you know, I got a reply by email that since I was the first one to offer her a place to stay, Niruma has mm -hmm. taken her offer, you know, taken up your offer. Y cuando estaban en Simandar City no tenían un lugar para estar. Entonces, él se ve que había comprado el departamento y les ofreció el departamento para que ellos estén cuando estaban en Simandar yeah. City. Así que fue primero en ofrecerle a Niruma y a Kuchushi su yeah. casa para estar. Yeah, so Niruma was in the other bedroom there on the other side, the main bedroom, you know, and she has a nice big bathroom and everything. Mine is like a, <laughs> a tiny little toilet, you know, and a shower, you know, you sit to uh, things, but that's enough for Yeah. And uh, even this, even the, when, you know, even this bed is, Pujishri's bed, it used to be his. It was his bed. You know, and uh, so he left the bed and we put the new mattresses, you know. But, uh, and this desk, <laughs> this is the desk. This is the escritorio. <laughs> and this is, this, this much is the desk. You know, it's all made of all wood, all wood, you know. El dormir un colchón. But just enough, like, you know. Bueno, hola. Oye, el, eh, yeah. cortito, Anila, Anila, por... Yeah, it is only, it is only 24 by 24, you know, like 36 inches, I think, 36 inches long, you know, just. Uh, and escritorio. this is where he used to just do all the, all the work, you know. This was, he used to do this, this was the desk, and this was the bed he had in the, in Ahmedabad, you know, so when they moved here, they brought this here, you know for him and uh, so Neruma stayed here for a, one year uh, and uh, in this apartment this was Deepak Bhai's apartment you know place and then directly across was Dimple Bhai in the main bedroom and then you know and the, and on the other side the other apartment which is the you know mirror image is Patel's you know Patel Pravin by Patel and he gave his apartment also so that the girls could cook for Niruma. They will cook in the living room, you know, and, you know, they'll just do everything. So that's Dice how Dice que it, Niruma yeah. estuvo por un año en ese departamento. Mm -hmm. En ese lugar donde está él ahora, está, dormía Puchushri. Mm -hmm. Niruma en el otro lado, eh, en el cuarto grande. Y Dimpelbay en la parte chiquitita que está de, cruzando el, el cuarto. Yeah, y del so... otro lado hay un departamento que es como espejo. 
que era de los Patels, que también donaron, dieron el espacio para que ellos trabajaran. Yeah, and Niruma used to do vidhi from the balcony. You know, she'll come out and the matmas will be down below. This is on the first floor. You know, she will do the vidhi, and some of them, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah in, and then a lot of vidhis have happened in the living room, right there. A lot of matmas sitting down, filling up the living room. You know, and. Uh, and then, yeah, and also directly across, night not next to Patel's, my neighbor's opposite in that corner was an empty apartment, you know, another Mahatmas, and he's the father of an Aptaputra. Uh, and he says, You can use my apartment because I'm not coming here yet from Savarashtra Gujarat, you know, that area. I'm not moving. So we they started doing uh, video recordings of Niruma there, you know, without knowing that it will end appear on TV, you know. Mm. Hay otro departamento más allá que el otro Mahatma que dijo que también donaba el espacio cuando él no estuviera. Ese Mahatma es padre de una taputra hoy eh, y en ese en ese otro departamento hacían las grabaciones de video que se hacían en aquel momento. Yeah, and you know, so the <laughs> the Aptaputras, and even I have sat, you know, in front of Niruma asking questions just so that she can answer. So even though we know the answers or we know, we'll just say, Niruma, how do we how do we know that we have really attained the I? What is you know, what is the meaning of Ama, Bura, you know, all simple, simple questions, you know, Niruma would answer. We will ask him about some of the song. Everything she would then just keep on answering, answering, and those got recorded, you know, a lot of, uh, before, a lot of them initially, you know, they would just started recording, and then, then Sanjay would make them a software and give it, take it to the TV stations, you know, and Please, please, can you put a little bit, can you put a little bit? And they look at it and they said, no, not enough makeup here. So then Niruma would have to put on the makeup. <laughs> you know. Ahí hacían un montón de grabaciones y decían preguntas a Niruma sobre, de las más simples, sobre cómo sé que, que, que he separado el alma del, del ego, o si preguntas básicas. <clears throat> y agarraban todas esas grabaciones y las llevaban a la estación de televisión y decían, por favor, Pongo un pedacito de esto en la televisión. Y la, los de la tele le decían, no, esto le falta esto, lo otro. Entonces, el humo se empezaba a, a pintar la cara, a maquillar para salir en la televisión. Mm. Yeah, so, you know, and then all of a sudden she became very famous, you know, just, you know, they all, because, you know, they went, they caught on to the words. They said, this lady is something. This, you know, everything she says. She's so relaxed and she gives one sentence, two sentences, and people who have not met her fall in love with her, you see. <laughs> y de repente se convirtió en una mujer muy famosa, porque la gente la veía muy relajada y de repente con una oración o dos oraciones daba vuelta a todo el mundo, entonces este, yeah. eh, se convirtió en una persona muy famosa. So... And there is a lot of energy in this apartment. I, we call it C31. C31. C31 is the number. You see, you're all welcome when you're here to come. Uh, it's a lot of magnificence. I have a picture with you in the sofa. <laughs> In the, in the sofa, where you sat where Niruma yeah. sat. Yeah, Niruma sat, yeah. Yeah, even, you know, I sit there when I want more energy, I sit there. And, you know, it's just this morning, and last two mornings, I've been with our dear Cecilia. Uh, you know, Cecilia, Bern uh, I guess, Cecilia. We go to the we go to the lake and we sit down. There's nobody here, you know. Every day, only she and she is so. She says, "Shuda, I have you all for myself only." <laughs> <laughs> Dice que los últimos dos días estuvo con Cecilia y fueron al lago que está ahí enfrente del departamento 
y ella decía, ayuda, te tengo para mí, todo para mí. Este, así que se divirtieron ahí en, Yeah, en, en el it's, lago. it's wonderful. It is, the energy is special here. Uh, the lake is filled with all the flowers, you know, the lotuses. Oh, so many this year is just filled, you know. And things will start happening. Uwe is coming on the 12th, you know. And, and so, Uwe is downstairs. No, Uwe is on the other side. Uwe is on the Ah. other side, you know, near the lake. Uh, we are not Ah. near the lake. We are near Ganesh, you know, like Lord Ganesh and the tank. Yeah. We are in the first phase of Simandar City. And then there was a second phase where Shirishis, bungalows and all of them there. You know, and the third phase was on the other side. And a lot of mistakes were made in the construction of this by Mahatmas because they were Mahatma volunteers building this thing, not, <laughs> not any, not any Ah. <risa> Dice certain que ese es stuff. el primer, Yeah. el primer edificio, el primer edificio de Simandar City y que fue hecho por Mahatmas voluntarios, así que tiene muchos errores de construcción, pero a la vez tiene mucha energía y que el lago está lleno en este, esta, esta época de, de Yeah. año, está lleno de, Yeah. de And flores, from that from that tiene. corner up there somewhere or the other after heavy rains there will be a little bit of you know not it will just get wet you know of course so you know it's all been taken care of with, with so many pains and all of those things you know but this I can I algunas botellas yeah I You know, I have, when I lie down here, I don't have any difficulty just closing my eyes and the whole world is forgotten. y si cuando se acuesta en esa cama cierra los ojos y todo el mundo es olvidado rápidamente So when you are here, Damian or anyone, you know, you want to take a, in a little nap here, you're welcome. And, you know, the ladies can go in Nima's bed, <laughs> Niruma's todos bienvenidos bed. para tomar una siestita acá en la cama de Niruma Just lay down, que eran nuevos yeah. And that one is Niruma's bed. It's, an, it's you know, I still, I still uh, remember. And then, then the bungalows were ready on the other side. And so then Raman Kaka, you know, the gentleman who just passed away at 100 and after 101 anniversary, you know, Raman Kaka, you probably seen him, you know. Yeah, yeah he... Uh, So Niruma went to his place, you know, and uh, I uh, I told her, I said, why don't you just live here and I will just stay with Patel, you know, <laughs> just stay here. She says, no, I think now we give them the opportunity, you know. And yes, there's... Dice que Mahatma se llama Raman Kaka, que vivió 101 años Yeah. y que, bueno, Niruma estuvo, fue a, a la casa de él a hacer bendiciones y And después then, este and, señor la invitó. yeah, and there she stayed until the Vatsalya was built, you see, mm. you know, until the one, then she moved Sí. there, all of them moved to Vatsalya, you know. Ella estuvo ahí hasta que Vatsalya, que es la casa de, Yeah. de ellos, este, estuvo lista y ahí Yeah. se mudó. And now the Vatsalya is empty. Yeah, they've all gone away over there, but The presence is always here. Samandar City is absolutely blessed. This area is absolutely, everything is green. There are so many different plants, so many flowers, so many different birds, you know, uh, so many, so the birds from early in the morning till in the night, you know, till, you know, evening, all music, all kinds of musics of the bird going on. <laughs> you know, yes, this... Es una tierra muy, muy especial, con mucha energía, con muchos pájaros que vienen y cantan durante todo el día. Y que So, ahora Batsalia, la casa que, que tenían cuando nosotros fuimos, ya está vacía y ya se mudaron a la casa nueva que nos yeah, mostraron la otra vez. they still have Niruma's, you know, with the sari, the white sari over here, you know, Niruma's Vatsali is there. Niruma is here, and she is next to Samadhi, you know. The Gnani has to go there because he still has to take care of hundreds of all of these Uh, brahmachari, yes, you know, the seekers of brahmachari, the men and women, the young men and women in white, you know, mm -hmm. you know, he has to, so they're all enclosed now, in, they're all enclosed in the, you know, so they can all live there, you know, you know, when you go to the Dadanagar Hall from Simandar City, yeah, right, when you go, you know, that way towards the TPL on the left side, uh, where the old Dadanagar, all 
old big hall where we used to have the parents that has been broken down all of that area the land is now of pujishris you know in the middle in the middle and surrounded so, uh, where that uh, dadanagar hall is open yeah, that that another hall. hall yeah it's the other it's one it's even empty. beyond you know remember the banks uh -huh. and everything railway line it's beyond and it's the very yes. big yeah if you do an aerial view you will see it and before going before the dadanagar okay. hall comes on the left hand side yeah i i will you know in the interval i'll see if i can find the pictures you know mm -hmm. yes <laughs> yeah dice que el área de pusushi ahora está más allá del atrás del dadanagar hall es otra otra tierra que se abrió y ahí está la casa nueva de de pusushi yeah now the, the new thing that has happened here is <laughs> that hall is so far that and that you know if the mahatmas were not coming in the evening you know in the night over there for live satsang because they say i can i can watch everything here so nicely sitting in front of my laptop you know i can catch every word i can see all the expressions you see why do i need to go there you know and you know and either you know you have to go by car or cab you know or something there there is a bus that goes so mahatmas are not o sea, los Mahatmas a veces no vuelven a la tarde, eh, entonces, bueno, cada uno está con su laptop disfrutando el nuevo espacio que tiene. So, Mahatmas were not coming, so, uh, so then Deepak Pai employed a little trick. He says, we're not going to televise all of the satsangs, you know, if they want to watch, they have to come there. <laughs> Only the Thursday satsang, y, 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 they televise, yeah. Deepak. <laughs> usa, usa un truco que dice que no van a televisar los satsangs, así tienen que venir de vuelta al, al Trimandir a, a, ver, a estar en los satsangs de la tarde. So, que the, so then the Mahatmas go there and they fill up the hall, you know. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, it is such a big hall that it feels empty, you know. And our Nani says, hey, where is everybody? Where are the Mahatmas? You know, he can't, he can't see you and I already are plugged in to him, you know. All of us are watching him, you know. But he cannot see that, you know, and he likes to have sí. that energy around, you know. A él le gusta tener la energía de los Mahatmas alrededor, y a veces ve el, el salón tan grande y tan vacío, y dice, ¿dónde están los Mahatmas? Este, porque se quedan disfrutando de la nueva parte. Yeah, should that, my Bhagwan. So let us begin uh, our sí. satsang with the sí. three mantra, huh? Who will sing? Empecemos con el three mantra. Oh, Yeah, you say you assign somebody to sing the three mantra. I mean, have choose eh, you choose. Okay, Luz, ¿quieres cantar el three mantra? Ah, yeah, yes, Luz. Luz. Jai Sachidananda. Good that, my Bhagwan. Jai Sachidananda. Huh? Yes. Namo Vidara. Namo Ariha. Namo Siddhanam Namo Ayare Yaram Namo Vasayam Namo Yesava Sahunam Yeso Pancha Namo Karo Sabapa Vapanashano Mangalancha Savisin Padamam Kabai Mangalam Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva
Namo Masai Namo Yesaba Sakunam Eso Banta Namo Karo Sabapa Vapanashanu Mangalana Jasabesim Padaman Kabai Mangalam Om Namo Padabate Vasudevai Om Namo Shivai Jai Namo Vitrada Namo Arihantanam Namo Sitanam Namo Ayareyanam Namo Vasayanam Namo Thank you, my dear. You know, with this, this offering of the three mantra is the beginning of <clears throat> beginning of the satsang of the self. You see, this. Este, este trimantra, esta oferta, ofrecimiento del trimantra es el principio del satsang sobre el ser. I, I came across an interesting sentence of the other that I will share with you. This was, the other was in Vadodara, Baroda, in, in July of 1970. He said two beautiful sentences. I'll share with the first one is, Moksha is not a fruit. Moksha is not a fruit, a result. Moksha is not a result of something. Mm -hmm. Y right. tiene dos oraciones. La primera es, Moksha no es el resultado de algo. Yeah. It is your sobhav. It is your nature. It is, this is who you are. You, you know, sobhav. Esto es tu naturaleza. Es tu sobhav. Yeah, when you come home, you're home. That's all. <laughs> sobhav, you es know. tu vida, a tu hogar. Eso es todo. You don't have to you don't, it's not, it cannot, it cannot be attained. You cannot attain moksha by doing something or trying, waiting for, if I do this, I will get the result of, I will get bliss, I will be happy. You know, you, you, you cannot do anything to get moksha because moksha is who you are. You yourself no, are. No, es que tienes que hacer algo para ir a moksha. Eh, no tenés que hacer nada, es ser quien sos. Yeah, so this is very beautiful. It says, you know, you know, the, you know, you know, all of these spiritual masters and and the uh, and the people in the um, <clears throat> relative religions who do all of these practices 
uh, of religion uh, they if they ask if they ask will we not get moksha because we are doing this we are doing religion we are doing all the good things will we not get moksha and the answer is dada says no answer is no no matter what you do whether you are a, you know a priest a, a christian priest or a hindu priest you see or a uh, or a muslim uh, priest uh, you know uh, you whatever good things you are doing is not going to liberate you your moksha is when you stop doing anything you know when you understand who you are you see it's your swabhav you see hmm contrariamente a lo que dicen todos estos eh, eh, maestros espirituales del mundo relativo en donde dicen que tienes que hacer algo para llegar a este a moksha dada dice no este simplemente tienes que entender quién sos yeah it's just you don't have to do anything just go to the gnani go to the one who is established in moksha who is has become the embodiment of moksha embodiment of total liberation go to him and you know uh, the liberation is natural just meeting him is followed by the natural liberation you will get naturally liberated without doing this or doing that or running here or running there you see hmm? simplemente tienes que encontrar un nani que está establecido en mox y estar con él y eso es lo lo que lo que te va a liberar no hacer una cosa o hacer la otra mm -hmm. simplemente estar con la bendición del nani mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, the second one was this is a very interesting sentence which we we'll all love after you he says dada she says ever since ever since i have started reciting that is i i have begun uh, reciting the three mantras which our dear lord just did he says ever since i have begun joining this mantras you see the celestial beings dev devis they do not leave they do not go away from me they are all around the sri mantra so wherever the three mantra is being sung the celestial beings are present they are gracing the one who is who is um, singing reciting the three mantra hmm? en la segunda oración es desde que empecé a rezar el trimantra eh, todos los seres vivos no me han dejado han estado siempre al lado mío eh, bendiciéndome y cada uno que reza el trimantra va a tener los dev devis o, cel o, o seres celestiales alrededor yeah. See, this is the sentence you see this is very very precious you know it and you know why is it so and the answer is that when you include everyone in this mantra all the religions you see you know of india as well as in jai sachidan and means everything else you know when you include them together then you are no longer showing partiality no mine only i just want to rec i'm a you know krishna lover i want to recite only krishna you know shri krishna sharanam or om namo bhagavate vasudevaya the other one says om namah shivaya only but this one here you know, the one who is reciting with love like what louis did just now you see these celestial beings are very pleased they are very pleased because that's the only way a human being can move in the direction of liberation by first accepting all religions as they are all by accepting them as they are not 
not rejecting them even the slightest. No, he's a Jew. I'm Christian. No, he's a Muslim. I'm, you know, there is no end to it. There is a, on that July 20, let me see what the exact date was, because this is, is a lot of beautiful stuff coming on that day. Well, every day, every time the other speaks, you know. But anyway, there's a lot of things, but um, let me just share with you one more, okay? <laughs> one, the, other, the other Shri says, Ama, it never dies, Atma, it never dies and is never born. You see, never dies and never born. A Janma, Janma, right? Hmm? Dice que el alma nunca nace y nunca muere. Atma is never born and never dies, you see? And never dies. Never dies. So then what is born and what is dies is the... And then the Shri says, egoism. Egoism is the exact word. Lo que nace y lo que muere es el egoísmo. Egoism dies and lives. You see, it dies and lives, you see. Or, you know, egoism, it is the egoism that dies and it's the egoism that rises up again, you see. Uh, egoism. The other gives an example es el of it. Que nace y que va, y que muere es ego, uh, you know, doc, uh, now in, into inverted commas, doctor, sir, I cannot translate. I cannot live anymore quotes it's in quotes you see uh, i can live no more you know an old person you know an old person eh, the other says is you know old, old person you and i know is the way they say that i have oh this too much now i don't want to live anymore right i too much suffering, you know. That's when a person says this, you see, no? that is egoism. It's the ego that was living now says, I don't want to do not want to live anymore. You see, it's the ego that says that. Y cuando la gente dice, doctor, no quiero vivir más, no, no puedo vivir más, eso es el egoísmo. Yeah, so it is, it is the is the ego rises and the ego dies, you see. So this, you see, now, now the other Shri says, but along with that dying, dying and living, dying and living ego, all right, ego, is the Vitarag Ama, is the Vitarag Ama. You see, this ego arises and there's a body, and then that body becomes old or it becomes diseased, you see? And that egoism, the ego, egoism means this is happening to me. And this is my body, you see? And so it is dying. And then again, it will arise. Another. So ego lives, ego rises, ego lives, ego dies, ego rises, ego lives. But the ama in everyone, ama in everyone is vitarag. It is vitarag. Dice que el ego nace, emerge, muere una y otra vez, pero pero el alma que está con el ego siempre es vitarag. Nunca nace y nunca muere. Egoism. Egoism arises. Egoism means the exercise of the ego. Ego means eu so damian, eu so lose. And to move with that energy, to move with that energy is called egoism, you know. 
you know, some other energy is doing it and you are saying, I am doing it, you see. Mm -hmm. This is called egoism. Mm -hmm. El ego es decir, yo soy Damián, yo soy luz. Y el egoísmo es moverse con esa energía. Eh, y eso es, es el egoísmo. Yeah, the egoism is, this is happening all around us, you know. And but the, the, uh, the soul, the, the soul is present in all this, in all this, you know, but is vitrag. You see, it is vitrag. This is important. You see, the soul is vitrag. El alma está presente en todo esto, pero esta alma es vitrag. Y esto es importante. When egoism, thank you, Marcela, when egoism, when egoism dissolves, dissolves, means moksha, you see. This is the egoism. Yeah. So, you know, egoism dissolves, it goes away. Egoism goes away. There is moksha. There is moksha. You see? Cuando el egoísmo se disuelve, cuando se va, ahí es moksha. Mm -hmm. Now, there's one more thing that I'm saying, which is important. This egoism, this egoism is temporary, you know. You know? Sometimes there is heavy ego, sometimes there is no, you know, this egoism, anything that is done through Euso, Cecilia, Euso, Anila, egoism, you see? Egoism is temporary, you see? Y este egoísmo es temporario. A yeah. veces es pesado, a veces no tanto, pero es temporario. Uh, this is the important sentence coming up, which I'm, I'm sharing. It is temporary. But only, only if you do not give it any further energy, you see. Uh, you know, you do not have, in other words, this egoism is temporary. In other words, it's not going to stay. No matter how bad the ego may be, it's not going to remain. With a qualification. And the qualification is if you do not give it any more energies by saying this is happening to me, I am somebody, I'm special, you know, I'm be I'm being ignored, you see. Hmm? This is this important sentence I just came giving you, you know. Hmm? Y este egoísmo es temporario, eh, pero con una calificación. Si vos no le das más energía, si no le das más energía diciendo esto lo hice yo, o acá estoy yo, esa es darle energía. So now Dada says, how? How do you not increase the ego? And Dada gives a very beautiful uh, farmer, because Dada was basically from the farming community, you know, Patel community, they are farmers and landowners, you see. And uh, Dada's, Dada's examples have something to do with farming. You know, he would use the word seeds and fruits and mangoes and, you know, all of those things. So Dada... Y le preguntaron, ¿cómo, ¿cómo es así? Y Dada siempre da un ejemplo que tiene que ver con, con la agricultura, porque él era de esas, de esas personas de la familia de los agricultores. You know, in India they used to eat a lot of vegetables, and so, you know, there's a, there's a vegetable called okra. Are you familiar with the okras? You know, uh, okra. No. Uh, Hay un vegetal que se llama okra en la India. Okra, okra, ok. Let me see if I can uh, show you a picture and then you will know it, you see. Mm -hmm. uh, okra images. Mm -hmm. Okra is a vegetable. As soon as ah, I, I saw it, so now let me share it, ok? And you will see it. Mm -hmm. A very common vegetable. Uh, and let me share it with you because it's important to share this. <clears throat> Les voy a mostrar una foto de un okra. Okra, okra. Okra. See that? You see it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. See, this is okra. I don't know what I don't know what you it's you've seen this vegetable everywhere, right? It's called ladies' fingers. Other name is lady fingers. Se llama dedos de mujer. 
Ah, like this lady fingers. You have this in Argentina? Do you? Do you have this? Even in esta en Argentina? I yeah. don't think so. <laughs> yeah. oh. Pareció la reja. Ah, uh, yeah. What does uh, Anila say? Yeah, it's, it's similar to peas. No, no, it's yeah. not peas. It looks exactly like no. this. No. And you cannot eat when you can you cut it like this and then you you know you make a, a, a spicy no, dish like this. Is, or you can make tipo, it esos, yeah, hot and spicy okras, picantes. you know, yeah, right. And and this mm -hmm. is important because you know I was also searching and it grows on a plant like this, you see. It just keeps on growing like this, you see, you know. This is the form. Ah. Yeah, okay. So it's it's a plant and then it grows and you should not allow it to become too dry, you know. You have to pick them by hand uh, when they are flexible, you know, they're, they, they're not... No, yeah, yeah. Cuando crecen no tenés que dejar que se sequen y, y tenés que agarrar el fruto que es muy flexible con la mano. Yeah, but now Dada uses this word. This is very so... This makes it so interesting. Let me see why he uses, because I, this is, uh, I missed it. Uh, Siki, do you see this here? Uh, okay, I, uh, lady finger, okra. Um, anyway, it's the plant, it's like a tree, you see, and you know, you just plant it once and then it comes up at about, about five to six, uh, feet high and it has got a lot of okra. You keep picking up the okra, yeah, it lasts the whole season. Un árbol que, mm -hmm. que crece más o menos como un metro y medio, un poco más, y da un montón de okras. Now you see, the, what the farmers here do is that they use all parts of the okra. After the okra has dried up, you know, and all the juices are gone, then they take the whole plant, you see, and, you know, the it's got very tough fiber inside. It's got like, you know, like sisal. It's got tough fiber inside. You can make ropes out of it, you know, strings, little ropes. Y, yeah. y una vez que el, que el okra se seca, los granjeros toman toda la planta y hacen hilos muy, muy, muy fuertes, sim similares a los hilos sisal. Yeah, ropes. I did not know that until I read this just a few days ago. He says, is so, you know, the other describes egoism. He says egoism is temporary. All ego is temporary if you do not give it any further energies. And how do you not give these energies? And then Dada goes to this example of the okra. He says we have these okras, you know. And what happens is they make they make a, a rope out of it, you know, a, you know, a strong rope out of it. They don't throw away the plant or burn it or be, you know. They, you know, because those fibers, you know, the green material is gone now, they are, you know, just straw color stuff, but it is very tough to break. You know, if you try to hold it and break it, it wouldn't break, you know, it wouldn't cut, you see. And yes, yeah. hacen sogas con la planta de la okra secada, una vez que sacan los frutos, y ahí es donde Dada entra en esta comparación del tema del ego con la okra, que ahí lo va a explicar. Yeah, and... And, and what he says, it's like this. The, you know, Dada says they make a rope out of it. And uh, when, while making the rope, while making the rope up front, in the front, they keep on twirling it. You know, they, they keep on going like this, you see, twirling it. Yeah. yeah. They keep on turning it, turning it. And the more you turn, the fibers go on one of the top of the other and they become stronger and they're stronger and they're strong, right? Now, when y you come... Giras, and, más fuerte, más fuerte. Yeah, but he says... Uh, you see, uh, from the front, from the front, you are keep on doing this, but now when it comes to the bear, uh, the uh, the lower part of it, you know, you know, you're done with it. No, you, you know how you it. It's the other side has already become a rope, you know, and from the back you keep on adding new stuff. <laughs> you you add new material here, and so it it also becomes part of this thing. And then when that's finished, it yeah, becomes part of it. And now you got and then you know you keep on doing that. The, process of turning it over and over again like this you see you know 
Entonces, cuando lo, cuando lo giras una y otra vez, vas al medio de la soga y ya ves que está formada la soga. Y entonces, continúas agregando en la otra punta de la soga más material para seguir enrollando. Yeah, and also, so, so Dada Shri says, if you stop feeding it from behind by putting more, by putting more, then there is moksh. It is moksh, it is moksh. Cuando, cuando terminas de, de agregar material en la otra punta para seguir enrollando y seguir enrollando, ahí es moksh. You see, you know, Dada Shri says, how is this, what is this world like? He says that... The person who is weaving, the person who is keeping on turning this thing, you know, is turning, you know, is blind. It's imag imagine the person is blind. He just keeps on doing it. And he keeps on adding from the bottom, you know. And he thinks it's going to be a very long rope. You see, it's going to be a very long rope. But a goat is already eating it, you see. <laughs> the other end is not even aware of it. So you see, it's like an no endless cycle that goes on. You see, huh? Dice que la persona que está enrollando, imaginemos que es ciega, entonces se mantiene enrollando, enrollando, ¿no? y él piensa que es una una gran una gran soga larga, eh, pero es ciego y no yeah. se da cuenta lo que lo que está haciendo. If you stop putting the extra material when it's about to finish. <laughs> You know, if you stop feeding it, if you stop, if you stop giving it energies, it is all, that's the ego. The ego will not exist anymore. The ego has arisen in this world and it is dying now for you and I. For the people, the world keeps on feeding it. What, me? I, you did it. I didn't do it. This person did it, you see. And, you know, here... Cuando vos terminás de alimentar con material la soga, ya no tenés más soga. Entonces, eso es el ego. Cuando vos dejás de alimentar eh, el ego, como vos lo hiciste, yo lo hice, ¿quién tiene la culpa? Ahí este, llegás a Moxa. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It, that little additional material uh, uh, of um, okra plant dried you know hmm? um, the uh, if you that stuff that you add at the end in the back part you see <coughs> is it so that you can it, it gets you know gets into it you know and then another more stuff comes in and it gets into it into, 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 into it it becomes a very strong rope and it you cannot break it anywhere you see <coughs> yeah, that That is the link of the ego, you see. The ego doesn't die. It just arises it again. You know, you're, you're dying. When even at the time of death, my property, my grandchildren, my this thing, you see. And the kashais that are associated with it, they come with you, you know. They don't die. It's, so they again... Even as a little one, or two or three year old, you know, you are fighting, you know. <laughs> y ese, ese material que se agrega en la soga se sigue enrollando, enrollando, enrollando. Y eso es el ego. Es el ego de este es mi hijo, esta es mi casa, esta es mi nieto. Y ahí es donde le continuamos agregando material a la soga. At the end, huh? you know, that this is a cold, I mean, it's a new word for me to. Fe, sorry, felu, felu, felu. If you don't, felu, felu is, you know, feeding, feeding the, and we can call it just feeding the ego or the rope, you see, you know, feeding the rope that is being. Y ahí sale una nueva palabra que es felu, que es alimentar la, la soga. Yeah, yeah, you know. So it's so easy. Look at his definition of moksha. <laughs> his definition of moksha is stop feeding it. It's not yours. This ego uh, play of, you know, this drama ego sometimes. Oh, I don't want to do anything. Sometimes I want to do it. I this, All of this drama of the ego, you know, just see it. Don't, 
don't feed it don't feed it by saying this is happening to me you know or i like tan it or simple, i don't es tan simple es simplemente no alimentes este ego no pienses no creas que esto me está pasando a mí yeah let the drama play let the drama play you say that's all let the drama play you know dejemos que la obra de teatro siga You know, somebody comes and says, Luz, Luz, do you know what? Do you know what Gabi did? And Luz might get interested. Oh, yes, tell me what Gabi did. On the other hand, you can just watch the drama. You know, you can just decide and see the drama of Luz and Gabi, what they're doing. Cuando alguien viene y dice, Luz, Luz, ¿sabes lo que hizo Gabi? Y Luz dice, Sí, sí, de ahora decime lo que dice Gaby. No, simplemente miremos eso y dejemos que el drama siga. Yeah, yeah, it's the drama. Beautiful. Little, little sentences like that. Dada is speaking, you see. Yeah, you know, to protect yourself is also egoism. That's one sentence I. That's one sentence. I missed. Yeah. yeah. To, to protect. Uh, Gabi, Gabi, did you do this? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, you know, I. It happened. I, I you know, I, you know. Yes, you're. You know, you just. You're not, not opening up Gabi and say, yeah, it did. I, it happened. Yes, my mistake. You know, so that protection is also part of the ego. You know. Cuando te dicen, Gaby, tú hiciste esto, y vos decís, no, 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 y tratas de defenderte, eso es proteger al ego. Eso es proteger al ego. Yeah, es egoísmo también, you see. What we, what we have for infinite lives, for what, through what, that which we have suffered, the ego, you see, that doesn't need any more protection from us anymore after the Gnanvedi. Let it burn, let it burn. Y ese ego que nos ha acompañado por tantas vidas se ha separado o se ha dejado de proteger en el Nambidi. Y ahora dejemos que es que arda, dejemos que arda solo. You know, to leave the human birth and to go into animal kingdom or to wander around in other forms of life is all part of egoism. In other words, This swastika that we say, you know, the swastika going in different life forms is also egoist. It's the ego that revolves, you know. The ego goes into the animal, the ego goes into celestial beings, you see. Ese ego que vaga en distintas formas de vida está simbolizado en la swastika india, que es eh, el ego que va a la vida animal, que vuelve, que va a la vida en una forma humana. Yeah. yeah, you know, then. Que gira, que se don't want to hear, you know, that egoism means, is, egoism is also blind, you know. So in other words, it's like the blind man who continues to make the rope and keeps on feeding the felu, felu, felu from the back and out there a little calf that he cannot see, a little... You know, little baby calf is chewing, <laughs> chewing it all and finishing at the other end. You know, and it's you know. It's... Y ese ego también es ciego. Es como ese hombre ciego que que, que se la pasa eh, girando, girando la 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 soga. Felu, felu. Yeah. Viendo... So we so we come. You know, after those beautiful. Uh, Four gatis, four gatis. You all know four gatis, right? Four gatis, uh, realms of existence. No, ahí, ahí, así vemos los cuatro gatis, los Mar. cuatro reinos de la existencia. Egoism to see now that is egoism too. Now that is see how he beautifully he focuses on the egoism. He doesn't say, "Oh, you became a cow." Or you just came back from the celestial being into a human being, you know? No, what's going on inside? Ego is active. Egoism. It's all egoism. You see, it's got nothing to do with the Amapura, you know? 
y fíjense que hermosamente Dada se focaliza en el ego, no, no empieza a decir, eh, vos te has convertido en una vaca, te hiciste esto, te hiciste lo otro, sino simplemente se foca en el egoísmo que está mirando, este, o mirar desde afuera al egoísmo. Should that move on? It's, let's take about, I know you, you need you like a break, so let's take about, uh, what, 10 okay. ten, ten minutes break? or uh, ten, uh, 10 minutes, yes. All right, 10 minutes and then we come back, okay. huh? All right? Okay, <laughs> tomemos un break de 10 minutos y luego volvemos. Yes, okay. Jason, thank yes, you. Yes, thank, yes. You. Yes, yes. thank you, Marcela, and thank you. Uh-huh.
Okay. <clears throat> oh, yes, Gabi. Uh -huh. Gabi. Mm -hmm. Estás muteada, Gaby. Tu pregunta. Sí, tan anchuda. Yes, eh, sí, quería sí. hacerle una, una solicitud, en realidad, no sé si para ahora, en algún momento, si pudiera él comentarnos cuál fue el mensaje del Nani para este, en este Jan Mayanti, porque cuando fue el día de ese mensaje, al final eh, se transmitió para nosotros solo en Guyarati estaba y no, no tenía... Entiendo que no había traducción en inglés o... Uh, she, she's yeah. asking uh, if you could share with us the Nani's message for Jan Machanti because we didn't have any translation. Um, it was only in Gujarati. Pero no necesariamente ahora. O sea, puede ser, Not puede today, ser una... but some, someday in the future. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. All right, sure. I, I will make a note of that. Huh? Jan Machanti, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Toma nota. Yeah. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will, you know, if possible, I'll play it a little bit and simultaneously explain it. You see, like you know, but uh, so let's see. You know, I'll remember <laughs> one more homework until I see you again. Huh? Yeah. Más deberes tengo hasta que te lo vuelva a ver. Yeah. This, this is beautiful homework. All if anything that comes naturally to you. Yeah. Any, any work of that that comes naturally to you is very beautiful, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, we will do that for sure. Hmm? So, uh, so we come to this heading, you see. Uh, where is this all kinds of sounds? Okay. Um, the... I'm still setting up my cell phones, uh, America Indian cell phones. They're just, you know, good mm. bothering me from both sides. You know, I don't know which one, you know. Oh, uh, but anyway, los, get used to it. Yeah. De America y la India. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, in the last uh, satsang, I'm just giving you the heading. We covered the heading called uh, the uninterrupted. Unbroken Upyog, Shuddha Upyog, you see, Shuddha Upyog, pure applied awareness. Shpin Raina Sile, you to be Raina Sile, even I Shpin Amapura, I, sorry, you are so Amapura, you too are also Amapura, pure. That's called Shuddha Upyog. Mm -hmm. Cubrimos Shuddha Upyog, eh, yo soy Amapura, tú eres Amapura, eh, el Upyog ininterrumpido. Yeah. Upyog also, Upyog also Dada talked about is is the awareness of what's going on with the mind, with the chit, with the intellect. You see that kind of awareness of what's happening inside. You know to be aware. El último que habló, que habló Dada es de esa conciencia de que está haciendo la mente el chit es que nos está pasando adentro de ese tipo de conciencia. And do not allow, not allow the mind to stick in one place too long, you know, in other words. See it and move, move, worry. You know, so y, much... Y no dejar uh, que la mente se quede pegada en un solo lugar, simplemente mirarlo y, y mover, digamos, y salir yeah. de ahí. You know, your, your mind 
the moment you say noticed, I know I know what you're trying to show me. I've seen it. Okay, now show me something else. You know. So in other words, you're not stuck in. You know, you what the mind shows, you don't get pulled down. You know. Hmm? Y en otras palabras, no, no ser arrastrados por lo que la mente nos muestra. The other she says, if, you know, and I to remind you only, the other says, if somebody is washing my feet, you know, cleaning my feet, you know, washing it with a lot of love, drying it, then uh, worshipping, you know, putting the red thing on, the, you know, what, whatever worship you're doing. He says, I don't need to be there <laughs> uh, because the feet don't need the feet were the feet don't need me then you see the feet I'm sitting comfortably in the chair and they're doing this to my feet the feet do not need me yes when I am walking the feet says okay please make us walk you know pay attention so that you don't fall over or things like that but otherwise the feet are not demanding my attention they are doing stuff to my feet we are in pure cuando alguien le lavaba los pies a Dada y lo y lo lo bendecía no lo adoraba él decía yo no necesito estar ahí mis pies eh, no me necesitan en este momento he says so even while they are doing something so precious as Washing the feet of the gnani, you see, and preparing the feet, the you know, of the gnani for worship by others, you know, like after the feet are all cleaned and nicely, you know, yeah, you know, you've done yours, and then you move on, and another matma comes, and again he wants to clean or whatever, but whatever he does, you know, once it clean, you know, he wants to just touch what. Move over, then the next one comes. You see, uh, I the other says I'm in some upyog or the other. I upyog means upyog means to sit above, to sit above. I don't sit there. I sit from the higher vision. You see, I apply my vision. Uh, I'm a puro vision. You see. Mm -hmm. Y cuando alguien estaba preparando los pies del Nani, después cambiaba por otro Mahatma, eh, el Nani dice, yo estoy en Upayok. Y Upayok significa estar sentado más allá de eso, sobre eso. Upayok. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Um, of, you see, so, it's very important. You see, he does not let the mind, he does not stick with the mind. Mind says, oh, how nice. This person who is doing it has done so much, etc., etc. None of that. You know, you don't want to get lost in the person who is doing this to you. You do not want, you know, you just, you see, he is in opioid. He sees the kriya, the activity happening. He sees the pure soul of that person. You know, keep, keep the mind engaged in something that is, that, that is connected to Amapura. Amapura direction mind, you see. Y él no dejaba que la mente se atascara. No quieres perderte en la persona que te está haciendo eso. Digamos, la actividad pasa y yo miro eso. Yo veo el alma pura de esa persona. Y mantengo la mente conectada con algo del alma pura. Yeah. So the and the next heading I've already given you and it's been translated also by our dear Marcella. You know, basically it is the strength, being very strong in your decision, you see. In, to be very strong in your decision, you know. Not a decision that can bend. <laughs> no. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very non-wavering decision, and that is the strength, you see. That is the heading, you see. This and the next heading are connected here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sobre ser muy fuerte en la decisión, como sea una decisión mm -hmm. que se doble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can just go ahead and read uh, what Marcela has written in uh, the chat, mm -hmm. in in your language, you know. 
No, yeah. st starting at 10 30, you know, go ahead and Quiero discreet. estar en su mm -hmm. mm -hmm. habiendo tomado esta decisión, después si no sigue así es otra cuestión, pero quiero permanecer en su grupo. Habiendo tomado tu decisión, debería ser tan fuerte e inquebrantable que incluso si muero no me apartaré de ella. Mm -hmm. And then this one here, you already read that, no? The second one here. Yeah. Oh. The first one? No, the second one. Second this one, one you read? Or the, okay. The yeah. second one, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, one, the first one. The first one was eh, here. Fuerte en la decisión inquebrantable. Habiendo uh -huh. recibido el land de ti, no uh -huh. podemos estar en su upio uh -huh. como tú, Dada. Uh -huh. And then this one. Mm -hmm. Y ahora. Quiero, ser, quiero estar en YouTube, habiendo tomado esta decisión, y después, si no sigue así, es otra cuestión. Pero quiero permanecer en, en tu YouTube. Habiendo tomado tu decisión, debería ser tan fuerte e inquebrantable que incluso si muero, no me apartaré de eso. Yeah, this is the important thing. The important thing is that you see there's the difference. Dada uses the word bhavna, you see. Bhavna means uh, that which is happening in discharge, you know. Uh, and bhav is charge, you know. Bhav is charge, intent. Charge intent versus intentions that happen to all of us, you know, after the Gnanvidhi. These are all intentions, but they are called bhavnas, you know. You know, the Damian might say it is my bhavna that uh, the gnani comes to Buenos Aires. That's your bhavna. It is your discharge intent, you see. Discharge intent. Yeah, aquí lo importante es la palabra bhavna, que es lo que pasa en descarga, versus bhav, que es lo que pasa en la carga. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, mi bhavna es que el nani eh, venga a Buenos Aires. Eso es una descarga. Mm -hmm. It's a discharge intent, you know. Somebody wants to do this to, for the gnani, somebody wants to do that. But he says, you, the other Sri critically says that you keep the bhavna, they let the mind be involved with the discharge intent um, that I want to be in Shuddha Upyog. I means I do not want to miss this. I do not want to miss the Amapura of anyone. You see, I want to see. The pure and the relative. We want to see it in exactness. Yeah, keep that intention in constant. In in and but you know that is the critical thing. The other says says it's not going to happen right away. It's you have to begin with the intention. You see, you have to begin with the intention that every day. You know, oh. So many people missed, and I didn't see the. Uh, I didn't see them as pure. I saw them as doers. They're doing this. They're doing that. They're not dressed properly. Esta es una intención de descarga, de que quiero estar en su propio. No quiero perder el alma pura. Quiero ver el ser y el relativo. Mantengamos esta decisión. Esto es lo crítico. No va a pasar de un momento a otro. Va a tomar su tiempo. Pero mantengamos esta, este bauna de intención de descarga. Yeah, you know, just stress the intention. You know, it's not, it's the one, it's, it's Gabi Shu, the Louis Cecilia, in making that intention. You see, this is, uh, but not the old Shuddha, not the old Damian. This is the new Damian who is. Going towards liberation, the who says so Amapura, the one who is in Gnan, you know, is, is we still have this body, and so the body has the intentions. You see, aquí el eh, Gabi, Shuda, Luz, Cecilia, es quien hace esa intención, pero no es el viejo Gabi, Shuda, Cecilia, es aquel nuevo que ha tomado Gnan y que se dirige hacia la liberación. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if the intention will make it happen, see, the decision to remain in Shuddhupyo, which is saying the same as being in Agnas, you know, you know, but especially Agna 2 1, you see, 2 1 is more related to pure 
शुद्ध उपयोग ये सब प्योर सींग द प्योर Es la intención lo que lo va a pasar, es la decisión. Y es lo mismo que están en los agnas, especialmente en el agna 1 y 2. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it, it makes it so strong. It is at the intention level only. The other is not saying yeah, it should happen. Only thing is you, you know, whenever you get a little time, you're sitting and say, oh, I met so many people, but I did not see his or her Shuddhatma. I did not behave with her. I did not accept the scientific circumstantial evidence that opened up for me. You know, I instead I jumped into, oh, you're doing this, you're not doing this, etc. I jumped into doership, you see. All of this is missing Shuddhupyog, you see. <clears throat> And just... Y hágalo tan fuerte, hágalo la intención. Este, eh, Dada dice que no es que debe pasar, es la intención. Eh, es simplemente aceptar las evidencias que se nos van presentando eh, y no quedarse presos en ellas. Yeah, uh, you know, the other is even goes to say that even if my breath is taken away, you know, yes, even at the time of dying, I do should not miss this opioid. I should not. You know, even if death were to come, I should have this exact opioid. So I'm a poor Shuddhat Macho, Shuddhat Macho, you know, Shuddhat Macho, you see? Pirada dice que aunque mi respiración se vaya, aunque muera, no, no quiero perder mi solo peor, mi yo soy alma pura. So now the next heading is firmness. 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 Firm, sorry, firm jagruti. Firm jagruti is present moksha. In other words, you know, firm jagruti is present moksha. Moksha, you know. El título es el firme jagruti eh, está presente en moksha. Yeah, it's a direct experience of moksha. You see, if you're If your Jagruti is firm, you see? Dhrad Jagruti is absolute. Si firme es una experiencia yeah. directa de Moksha. Dhrad Jagruti is called firm. In other words, it cannot be shaken. You know, that awareness that doesn't get shaken is absolutely still rock solid is, is direct experience of Moksha. You know, the one who doesn't move this way or this way You know, nor's not swayed, is not, is not flying with the ripples and and the waves of the ocean. You see, but is still as the ocean inside. You see, uh, is moksha. Escucha que esa conciencia que está firme adentro, que no deja que que se mueva o que se que se bambolee con las con las olas. Esa es la firme experiencia de moksha. So Dada Shri says, now Dada, this is interesting. Dada sometimes would start the satsang by saying something, you know. And then he will just say the sen sentence or two and then somebody will ask a question, you see. That's how Dada satsangs would proceed. So Dada says, if one has a habit, if one has a habit of doing dakho <laughs> oh. Doing Dako. Y, y así es como nada empezaba cada uno de los satsangs con una oración eh, así inspiradora y la gente empezaba a hacer preguntas. Y lo que dice es: si uno tiene el hábito de hacer Dako Dakal. Yeah, and this Dako Dakal is, uh, you know, to put your finger into this machine, you see, that's going on round and round. You're putting your finger into it, you know. <laughs> Si vos pones el dedo en una máquina que va, que va girando. Yeah, this machine is not a physical machine of a, of, of a factory, but it is the machine of scientific circumstantial evidence. Mm. Sí, sí. Que, que no es una máquina física, sino que es la máquina 
el ventilador de las evidencias circunstanciales científicas. All daco, dacal, you know, who oh, you, you know, you're the blissful one, but you just applied fair loo, you know, like, you know, you, you kind of fed the ego, the ego that was dying, you just kind of energized this just a little bit, you see. Mm -hmm. y, y Dada decía que si vos pones el dedo en el daco, dacal, que es, es el lavar ropa de las evidencias circunstanciales científicas, Diciendo quién fue, yo soy, yo, yo hice. Eh, yeah. Esa es la forma de alimentar el ego. Yeah, if, and that she says, if you have a habit of doing that, you know, you know. Si tienes okay, un hábito de hacer eso. Occasionally when it happens, it's not called a habit, but if you just continuously every morning. <laughs> Ocasionalmente no es un hábito, si lo haces continuamente. Well, you continuously, you know, becoming, you know, interfering, then you're going to miss the upyog, you cannot. Say the Amapura then. Y si te la pasas interfiriendo como, como un hábito, no vas a encontrar nunca el Sudupyok. So, so the questioner says, when, when this huge wave of interference, Dako, comes, you see, like you're in an ocean, you're, you know, if you're a bike, for example, I'm just giving example, you're standing on the beach, you know, and all the waves that come, they may be just come and they just come near your toes and they go away and you go, they just come and they go away some occasion a big one will come you know and just <laughs> make you wet all the way up to the Dice, hace un ejemplo de que si por ejemplo vos estuvieras parado en una playa y ves todas las olas que rompen y vienen y en, cuando llegan a tus pies vuelven pero de repente viene una ola que te sacude y te tapa Yeah, it says, so that the questioner says when such interference happens, uh, you know, uh, at that time, you know, it happens inside that I want to become free from it. I want to become free from all of this, you see. I don't want this file anymore. I want to become free. I do not want this file anymore. All of that that is happening is that Upyog Dada is asking, okay? Mm. Y viene una pregunta y dice, cuando, todo, cuando esta interferencia pasa, simplemente tengo el deseo de liberarme de todo eso. ¿Eso es el Upyog Dada? Yeah, it, uh, it hits me, you say. So the, when the interference the result hits me, uh, and at that time, at that time, I feel inside, I want to become free from this file. I, I, I. I uh, I don't want this file, you see. Is that upyog? Mm -hmm. Sí, es que cuando, cuando estoy revolcándome con, la, con las evidencias y cuando tengo este sentimiento de liberarme de esto, ¿es eso upyog? Uh, I do not want this file. What is that, Dada? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that? No quiero decirlo. ¿Es is eso? That, is, that, is that upyog or what? You know, is that upyog? Or what, you know, is that Upyog Dada? Hmm? So let's see what Dada says. Mm -hmm. You know, the answer, the Dada. So Dada says, the, in an exequor, want to be free, or want to be free, For once and all, chuti jauche, chuti jauche, chuti jauche, chuti jauche. I want to become free. I, you know, I want to be done with it. Chuti jauche, you know, uh, uh, free from once and all. That that goes into jagruti. You see, you know, into jagruti. In other words, it is the one who has awakened. Is the one, the Shuddhatma Bhagavan, who is awakened within, not the Amapura, the full Amapura, but you know, you and I, we, when we get this reaction, you know, of the interference, at that time you say, 
oh, I don't want this file anymore. I don't want this file anymore. You know, now this, I want to be free for once and all, you see, is part of the Jagruti, you see. Este quiero liberarme de, de este archivo de una vez y para siempre es parte de del Jagruti. The Jagruti has to manifest. You say the Jagruti has to manifest. Uh, uh, you know, in other words, what is called manifestation of Jagruti? You see, this Jagruti, this awareness, yeah, this awareness, you see, you know, like awareness, look, you and I are aware, you know, you we uh, say, I, oh, you know, I mean, also I'm a poor, I'm pure soul, that, but that Jagruti has to, become visible, visible, you see. The Jagruti has to become visible. In other words, in other words, people can see that Damian or Lowe's just got insulted, but there is no change in his face. You see, it's a visible Jagruti, visible result of the awareness. No, you know, I mean, you're the visible mm. result of the awareness. If the awareness has not been applied, is not active, then somebody says, stupid, stupid, uh, Damian, you know, you know, Damian becomes, uh, the face shrinks, you see, you know. And so that Jagruti has to be visible, has to be visible to, you know, Rupak. It has to be visible. Es la manifestación del, del Chagruti. El Chagruti, obviamente, es la conciencia de, de que soy alma pura. Pero este Chagruti tiene que volverse visible. En otras palabras, las otras, las otras personas tienen que darse cuenta de que estamos en, en Chagruti. Esa es la manifestación cuando llega a la conducta, digamos. Que cuando te están insultando, la expresión de tu cara no, no cambia. Eso que tenés la conciencia eh, a, a, a nivel de la experiencia. Uh, you know, and then the other goes on further and gives a very magnificent example, you know. And so now I have to go step by step, line by line. You see, the other, she says, the other talks about visibility of your awareness. It's not, you know, visible. una magnífica este, oración que voy a ir línea por línea, pero habla de la visibilidad de tu conciencia. Yeah, you are an aware, awakened person has to be visible. No, you know, it has to have visible effects, you see. Um, now, it is tied, this, uh, this is tied to, I want to become free. For once and all, I want to become free, you see. I want, it's not I, the other says want to be, because the I is... Is still developing. The eye is still developing inside. Yes, you know, I is still developing. I am also Amapura is still going higher. So I want to be, want to be ata, free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Esto se ata al yo quiero estar libre, yo quiero liberarme. Y este eye es muy especial porque es el el que el eye el yo que se está desenvolviendo, que se está desarrollando. For you, you know. So then this is. All right. Oh, let's stop here because Jigabi is raising. Gabi, yes, Gabi. 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 Al Mapura puedo reconocer eh, ese Yagruti en, en mí. Y al ladito, <ríe> inmediatamente surge el Kashai como de sentir como el orgullo de eso. Entonces. How, how this Yagruti lives with our Kashais? Because uh, at the moment I take notice of consciousness of I am pure soul. 
Besides it, there's the kashai that does not allow. Como, es como, como que ahí están, están, están como, como que like, inmediatamente se mete el, el, el ego. El kashai into it. The ego gets into it. Explain to me again. I'm kind of missing. Uh, can you can you say it? Uh, that so, uh, yeah. How, how this Chakruti lives with with her kashais when when she thinks I am pure soul and when she's conscious of that. At the same time, she has these kashais that uh, uh, get the ego inside again. Como que surge al tiro el ego, como que se pone encima. Yeah, understood. Yeah, Jagruti itself dissipates the discharging kashas. The Jagrut there will be kashas reactions there in the in 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 the discharging Udgal, the negative you know the body complex of gabi there will be kashai reactions you see kashai's waves of kashai's but they are no longer called kashai's really they are they're actually they because they are not getting any new energy from you the new energy does not go into those it's only when the new energy goes into it that it becomes a kashai. And the new energy cannot go there because you are Amapura. You cannot go there. You can you, you never say this is happening to me. The kashais are happening to me. Sorry, I miss a long long sentence. You never no, say that. Um, yes. dice, que, dice que el Shagruti en sí disuelve los kashais. Que en sí no son kashais porque son velos de kashais porque vos no le estás dando nueva energía. Entonces, eh, al no darle nueva energía, al, al saber que vos sos alma pura, esos kashais pierden fuerza, van perdiendo fuerza de a poco. Y no son realmente kashais, sino pelos y consecuencias de kashais anteriores. Jagruti means, <coughs> Jagruti means you are separated. Jagruti means I am also alma pura, this is happening. Uh, in the relative world, <clears throat> this is happening to <clears throat> Gabi. You see, this is so there is an automatic separation with Jagruti, automatic separation with, with Swayamapura. There is automatic separation. You don't have to do anything further. That is, and they are applying it now. You're saying to see that it is the disturbance is happening to see the disturbance in gabi is the separation you are totally separate you see and so then whatever it was you know it will settle down it will settle you see salud significa que vos estás separada vos sos alma pura y vos ves eso separada es significa automática separación y significa tu conciencia que eso le está pasando a Gaby, que automáticamente eso se resuelve. Yeah, so when you see this, when you see this happening to Gaby, then uh, your Jagruti has come into manifestation. It is keeping you separate. So no matter what disturbance ha is happening to Gabi or around Gabi, it is not touching you. You know, that is your visible manifestation. People also will say, something has really happened to Gabi. She is no longer the old Gabi, you see? She is no longer the old Dam Damian, you know, before, man, I, you know, I could not be around her. And now, you know, something has happened. That is called visible, that is manifest. Jagruti, it's manifesting Jagruti, yeah? Cuando vos ves que eso le pasa a Gaby, ahí es cuando tu Jagruti se está manifestando, cuando tu Jagruti se vuelve visible, y la gente te dice, ¿qué le pasa a Gaby? No es la vieja Gaby. Ahí es cuando tu Jagruti <laughs> se manifiesta. Yeah, yes. 
Yes. Uh, yes, my Luz, dear. Yes. Luz. Luz. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Quería preguntar si cuando uno está en el conocedor observador, también es estar en el Shabruti, es decir, en la conciencia despierta del ser. When, when, we, when you are in the nowhere seer state, uh, she asks if that is also Jagruti. Oh, yeah, that is are... that's full Jagruti. That is much higher yes, level yes. Jagruti. Yeah, it begins with this awareness, Soyamapura, you know, and this is happening to lose. You know, it is, that is the application. That is why he says, if you do not know how to work, to do or after Gnanvidi, Soyamapura, the other person is Amapura. Now the light is working, you see. You know, and, you know, the more you see the Amapura, the more you see Vyavasit, the more you see it's all relative. Relative means, relative means, means, without real value, <laughs> without real value. You see, there's no, re you know, sometimes you fight over a little piece of cloth or a little, you know, something that you like, you fight, you know, is you're putting value to it. Mine, mine, you see. But relative means, Without any real value, now you are appreciate. You, uh, you and I have come to appreciate the value of the real, the value of the magnificent value of this real, in whose presence this body is speaking, talking, thinking, working, sharing. You see, uh, receiving it, such. It, yeah. It, yeah. It, mm -hmm. it, it is 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 you do for you. Lo, lo que vos decís, Luz, eh, pero es a un nivel alto. Eh, el yo europeo comienza con el yo soy alma pura eh, y a medida que se va manifestando, vas tomando conciencia de que lo relativo es, justamente la, la definición de relativo es que no tiene valor real. Entonces vas creciendo en, ese, mm. en esa manifestación del, del yo europeo. Yeah, right, y te yeah. Yeah. empezás a apreciar eh, a ver la parte real y, yeah. y a distinguirlo de lo relativo. Yeah, so it will begin. It begins immediately after we hear the instructions of Dada in the five agnas. That now we begin to communicate. You know, like before you were saying only with these eyes and speaking with these words. Now you should begins the language of the Lord. Now speak in the language of the Lord. In the language of the Lord. What a beautiful sentence. Dada said that. Now you have to speak the language of the Lord. Dada, how do I speak the language of the Lord? Easy. See, see the Amapura. <laughs> you you know, dice, ahora tienes que hablar el lenguaje del Lord. ¿Y cuál es ese lenguaje del Lord? Simple, dice Dada. Ver el Amapura. Amapura. Ver el Amapura. Yes, don't... Uh, Easy, direct, simple. <laughs> Fácil, directo, simple. Yeah, the language of the Lord has begun. Otherwise, oh, the intellect will spin us in the forest, inside a tree, one tree, inside the Amazon, you know. <laughs> Dice que eh, eh, hablar el, el lenguaje del Lord es empezar a, a hablar en, la, en lo real, sino de otra manera... Te enredas en un árbol, en otro árbol, en el Amazonas. Este, empezar a hablar el, el lenguaje del Lord. Yes, you see, as we go higher and higher in these pages, uh, we are on page 65, I believe, you know. As we go higher and higher, 66, Dada is taking us at a very high level. At least he is make, giving us the understanding right now, you know. Time will come when all of this thing will start happening inside us, you know, right now. You know, when Dada talks about Shuddha Upyog, pure applied awareness, you know, that's way up there. 
Pero, Dice que a medida que te vas deslizando en las páginas, eh, el mensaje que da en este libro va más alto y más alto. En la página 64 ya estamos empezando a hablar del show to Pyok y cada vez estamos más alto y más alto. El mensaje es cada vez más alto. That's why he says, he gives us that, but he says, he begin the easy way. You can't jump into Shuddhup Yoga. <laughs> yeah. Él empieza de la manera más simple, no puede saltar directamente en el Shuddhup Yoga. Yeah, because, you know, an unpleasant person rings your doorbell, you know. And all of that file account with him will be right there in front of you, you see. At that time, he says, He says, remain, remain the self. See the self and the file settling energy in equanimity will be there for you. It will happen. You know, you, you have the hundred percent bhavna, the discharge intent that I want to settle this file with equanimity. Yes, I just want to settle it. Whether it's with you. La, una persona con la cual tenés un montón de archivos toca tu, toca tu, tu timbre y, y vos la ves y tal vez al verlo como alma pura se va desarrollando la energía para cerrar ese archivo con equanimidad. Yeah, and then that is the greatest gift. Agna 4 is the greatest gift, you see, with a file, you know. It's, we just need to understand the beauty that lies in the use of the energies of the self that is called use our light, the light that lets you see what is happening between loose and that file, between loose and this file, you see, so, you know, you can see that, you know. Y, y ese es el hermoso regalo del Agna 4, es usar tu propia luz, usar tu propia energía eh, a, para ver eh, el alma pura del otro y que se desarrolle el, el cierre de ese archivo con equanimidad. There is no other way, really there is no other way. You have... No hay otra forma, es simplemente ver. There is no other way, ver. you know, the intellect will say, Luz, forget him, he is a bad man, don't worry about him, you know, you carry el on. El intelecto te va a decir, Luz, olvídate de él, es un mal hombre, no vale la pena. No, you know, you cannot listen to the intellect, you cannot listen to the ego. Both of them, they, they, they don't like that person, you see. But you, are, you have come to occupy a seat in the courtyard of the Lord, you see, absolute Lord, you are, You are, you're getting qualified to even sit with the Lord. In fact, some parts of you are already rising high inside you, you see? Mm -hmm. Tú estás empezando a ocupar un lugar en el courtyard, sería el jardín de la corte del Señor, del Lord. Y eso se está empezando a, a manifestar. Y ya no vale la pena hacerle caso al intelecto o al ego, sino que estás en otro lugar, ocupando otro lugar. You can, you know, uh, Luz may react, Luz may say, Luz may be upset, all of those things, but you say, Luz, you know, you just keep on putting the light of the self, Ragna, Ragna, light of the self, Give the light to lose. Give the light to lose. You see, so that lose can see it as beautifully as you can see it. You see, Amapura, as you can see it. You can see it, you know. This is an old account, you see. This is an old account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
That's how it is for all Esta of es una, una vieja cuenta y tú los pones la luz del Pragnia para ver realmente lo que está pasando ahí. This is all, all of this that we are discussing here and reading here from the other is being taken up to be processed in Pragnya energy. Pragnya Shakti is taking all of this. It is bypassing the intellect. <laughs> It's bypassing the ego. <laughs> It's going straight in. Whatever Damian says, whatever is being said here, it is going straight inside, you know. You know. Mm. Es que el Pragna Shakti está dejando que estas palabras bypassen el intelecto y entren directamente a nosotros. Es el Pragna Shakti. Mm. Oh boy. Um, you know, this is a very beautiful, long... Um, Uh, well, not so long, but it's very interesting. Dada, you know, Dada says, Dada, the, the new words were, let the Jagruti become visible. Let the Jagruti that is you, let your light be visible. Let your light be visible to in your interactions with others, you know. You know. Yeah, y aquí viene una oración muy interesante de Nada que dice: deja que, deja que tu Jagruti sea visible para las otras. Deja que tu Jagruti se manifieste. Let this luz be visible for others. Don't keep it only inside, you see. And that can happen when, when amidst very difficult circumstances. There is stillness of yours, so which allows you to see it as it is. You see it as it is. You see it from here. You're not seeing it from here. From here, if you're here, you cannot see what's happening here. You know, you have to come here in, in as the self. Y, y cuando se manifiesta esta visibilidad de esa gruti, es cuando frente a las más dificultades a las evidencias más dificultosas se ve tu propia firmeza frente a lo que acontece. And this, of course, we cannot stop this palabras, you know, this is discharging battery of speech, but we can use the language of the Lord. <laughs> y aquí es donde, bueno, las palabras están ya determinadas eh, por la misma evidencia, pero aquí es donde podemos usar el lenguaje del Señor del Lord use the language of the Lord you know use the language of the Lord it's pure compassion it's pure love it's es pura compasión y es puro, yeah. puro amor it's, it's being blissful you see And in the process of the use of the language of the Lord, the first person who settles down becomes down. The first one is loose. Is sure the, it's God. Y, y en ese uso del lenguaje del Señor, la primera persona que se calma y que se establece es luz. Yeah, you yes, see, the disturbances, the waves, like I always say, the ocean, there are a lot of big waves on the surface, you know. On the surface, they come and crash with the rocks and come back and crash with the rocks on the shore. But that's on the top. Inside, deeper inside into this, this ocean, is, self is absolutely without any motion. See? It is the surface. Esas olas, mm. esas olas que quiebran sobre las piedras y y quiebran y vuelven y vuelven a quebrar. Eso solo es en la superficie, adentro del océano. El agua está absolutamente sin movimiento. Of the world shake the top of the surface of the ocean. You see, <laughs> great waves. Y nosotros no estamos bajo la ilusión de cómo estas olas de tiempo eh, rompen contra contra las piedras. 
they just die as they reach the shore. You know, they just kind of come back and they come back and they go and go and come for that. Back and forth inside, there is no moment. Inside, you're still as the ocean. Aquellas olas que mueren cada vez que pegan contra la piedra y vuelven y van y vuelven. Nosotros estamos adentro, adentro en el océano, totalmente sin movimiento. Yeah, Shuddha Kaurgan, this is the, you know, Dada. So, having talked about manifestation of awareness, Jagruti, visibility of Jagruti, you know, visibility so others can see something is beautiful here, you know. Visibility of the Jagruti is associated with a calm, serene, composed moment in life, you know. You know, you just move in life without getting too much disturbed by what is happening, you see. And that is visibility of Jagruti. That is who you are in application. It's your light in application, you see. Hmm? Esa manifestación del Jagruti es ir moviéndose por la vida sin eh, los movimientos de, de, de las evidencias y esa manifestación es el lenguaje de, del dolor y el Jagruti vivo. Yeah, and the other Shri says, it is uh, it is associated with I want to be free. I want to get liberated. I want to be done with this. I'm, you know, I, I want to be done with this. That is, and how how is it for you? How is it going to work with you, Dada? Dada gives a very beautiful example, which we will take in the next satsang. Okay, mm, yes, sir. you know. Okay. Y Dada dice que, que eso está asociado a que al, quiero liberarme de eso, quiero terminar con esto. Y, y sobre esto Dada da un hermoso ejemplo que lo vamos a ver la próxima la próxima vez. We have received a lot today from Dada hmm? from Okra plants. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, from okra plants, you know, Marcella, thank you, my dear. All the way. Gracias, New words, yes. Shudatma Bhagwan. We, we can Kansala. feel the energy. Kansala. Gracias, Dami. Yes, Muchas gracias. Yes, Chitana. Yeah, Claudia, gracias. Rose. Gracias. Yes. Shudatma Bhagwan. Yes. Sofia. Gracias, Dami. Cecilia, Gabi. Gracias, Dami. Gracias, Dami. Ahí, sosténgase. Te ceba, por favor. Nos vemos en enero, entonces. ¿En enero? January next time, Shula. Oh, yeah. In January. Yeah, right. I don't know, but next Tuesday, our Parayan will start, right? Next Tuesday, I don't know. Next. If there no, is a it's not the other. Okay, so, so then next Wednesday. Then, next Wednesday, uh, if there is okay. nothing, then we will meet again next Wednesday. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Thank you, Shula. Sure. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Yes, Jay Sachitana. Yes, Jay Sachitana.